Hi, Larry Gaines, PowerCycleTrading.com. Uh, in this video, I want to show you a long trade setup that we got here today on Apple. So we got a long signal trigger based on our trading model that we use at PowerCycle Trading, which uh, you know follows momentum and cycles. But anyway, here's the trade setup and signal, and then I'll show you the option trade that we did to uh, take this trade. So basically, uh, we look at the daily time frame, kind of the swing trade time frame, and then have to have alignment with multiple other time frames, uh, the four hour, one hour, and some of the lower uh, time frames to give us a a signal but the main thing that we look for is momentum to give us the direction now you can see that we also had a trend line break here today which came in from uh, this descending trend line we had that break and a close but the main thing we look at is our cycle reversal so you can see we got a reversal signal right here where that purple arrow is that came back on the uh, last week on the 9th of March and then today we had confirmation for this cycle change from a cycle low to a cycle uh, you know trend back up now momentum on cycle one which is a really fast sensitive momentum went positive today and on cycle two and then our four hour we had a cycle one and two positive on the hourly and then we got a major moving average cross that we look at this orange arrow is a real key to this kind of directional uh, trigger confirmation of this trade now if you look back I'll show you some past uh, examples of, of this exact same setup and then I'll show you the option trade that we used so here is a signal today right here so basically on the break break here 122.68 was where we uh, actually entered the trade um, and then we will uh, I'll show you some past signals that are identical based on the exact same model parameters okay so here's so right here we had a long trade right here from this sell-off let me just kind of walk you through it so you can see how precise uh, this uh, trading indicator and th this model is so we had the sell-off back here this was on the September the 2nd had a big sell-off okay so we're following momentum to the downside cycle one and two are negative so as long as those are negative we stay either short or do not go long and then you'll start seeing here the first thing you'll see a reversal indicator pop up here okay so that's signaling us to watch out we're maybe getting a cycle change okay then we get a second one so that's a really powerful uh, and then we get confirmation with uh, the parameters that I showed you or talked to you about the daily going positive along with the other lower time frame so that was a signal entry right there this came on the 25th of September then we had another one right here you can see this came on the uh, uh, 31st of July and then we had uh, one other big one was the COVID sell-off so let me show you that that's pretty uh, amazing it just totally totally nailed the bottom here so I'll just kind of walk you through that real quick so we had the big sell-off on COVID okay so momentum still negative cycle one and two now two still negative so we uh, watch that for confirmation that uh, momentum or selling is getting exhausted and then we had a reversal signal this is our first indication right here that was on the 24th of March and then we get a confirmation right here um, right here so this is when everything aligned all the different time frames we looked at so our long trigger entry came on the 6th of April and then just uh, really never look back. So that's exactly the same parameters we use today on this tr trade. And I'll show you the trade setup, uh, which we I like to use for these kind of big swing low type trades, what we call a calendar diagonal, because it lets us take advantage of, let's say it stalls here at this 21 EMA or the 50 and it goes sideways. Then we can trade this and get paid while we wait using the specific uh, trade strategy called the option calendar diagonal. So let me show you the trade on that. First off though, let me show you the alert. So this again was what I call this is an alert trade so I've got alert service that I had four different services but this was one this it was a breakout trade today you can see that the time frame so here it is the 15th and this came at uh, 1042 Eastern uh, 942 Central and so this goes to all the members a uh, new long Apple trade trading at actually we got in at 122.45 uh, so new long call calendar diagonal debit spread trade setup is based on a cycle low reversal all right so here it, it gives the layout of the trade so by to open the 16 April sell the 19 March 12375 128 call debit spread at 420 or less on the debit set spot, uh, side and then I give you price targets target 1 125 127 130 so that was the alert and then let me show you the trade so we bought the April 16 long dated 12375 call paid four dollars and 55 cents per contract on that so 455 dollars and then at the exact same time though sold the 19 March that's expiration this Friday the 128 call 
So we've got this kind of four and a half dollar wide spread, and we got into this at four dollars and fifteen cents on the spread. Now it went out, uh, and we're currently up. It went out at uh, let's see, it went out about uh, four dollars and sixty cents. We got in at four fifteen. Now the beauty of this, the the trade that we like that I like this so much is because if it does stall out here and starts to churn, we've got a credit spread or a short trade here that we're going to get paid. So you can see here the short side of the trade, the 128 short call has a really nice big theta of $12.80. So if it stalls, we're going to get paid. Now, uh, if it goes up and let's say it goes straight up and hits our target this week at the end of the week and goes to 128, we'll be up over $280. But what we like to do or tend to do is if this closes at 128 or below, we'll keep the $40, amortize down the long dated and then roll to the next series and sell, you know, the 26 March series, the 129 or 130. So it's kind of like a covered call, but we can do it with options and a lot less costly and more efficient. So if you'd like to learn more about these types of trades, make sure to join me at PowerCycleTrading.com. Good luck trading.